So my name is Matt Toronto. I have been in the aesthetic industry for about 25 years and I opened my clinic 20 years ago. And it was just at the beginning when aesthetics, non-surgical aesthetics was getting started. So in 2001, I opened up a very small clinic called Aesthetic Care um, in a thousand square feet with me and one nurse and one esthetician. And uh, we ended up loving it. And so it's been 20 years now we've been open and uh, we've gone from two employees to 30 and uh, 1,000 square feet to now 13,000 square feet. And fortunately, we're now one of the largest aesthetic centers in the country. Uh, we were just named one of the top 10 uh, med spas in the United States by the American Medical Spa Association. And uh, we also have a company called Mint Aesthetics where we do a lot of consulting and training. We've worked with over 1,600 clinics throughout North America. Uh, teaching the business side, consulting, and a lot of procedural training from injectables to lasers to cool sculpting, uh, just about anything in this industry. So we, uh, we've got a lot of experience. We've made a lot of good mistakes that we've learned from, but uh, things have gone very, very well. We've done tissue tightening for years. And to be honest, it's always been a little bit of an underwhelming area of non-surgical aesthetics. We have four different tissue tightening devices and they've always been okay, but nothing that really wows you. And also a little unpredictable. Um, different energy sources from uh, ultrasound energy to light energy to radio frequency energy. And uh, again, we've done okay with it, but nothing that you say, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. So I heard about Indiva uh, through Jeff Ramsey, and I really had no interest in adding another typical radio frequency device just because I, they've been okay, but nothing that's been wonderful. But he was nice enough to say, hey, listen, I want you to try this, treat some people and see what happens. And it was really strange because my staff, so much of uh, performing great treatments is having your staff buy into it and believe in it and actually enjoy doing it. And comparing it to what we had, the other four devices, they immediately said, no, we like this device better than what we have and we're seeing better results. So it, it surprised me because I really didn't understand how at that time their frequency of radio frequency was different, but it is. Uh, we just started seeing results that we had never seen in tissue tightening before and feedback from our clients that was so much better than what we had seen with our other devices. So it turned out to be an easy decision because my staff is saying, no, we want this machine. And when that happens, you try to make that happen. It's so easy to sell something you truly believe in. All the providers here, the estheticians and nurses, they want to have treatments that the clients get really excited about, give them referrals, things like that. And so it just turned out the results were so much better than what we had seen. Uh, so we decided to add it, and it was really interesting what happened. Um, we got so busy so fast with it that we had to actually add a second machine for just to handle the demand that we had. And now it's just my staff's favorite. It's my staff's favorite tissue tightening device. Um, we have a menu of services with 26 different FDA cleared devices, so we have a huge menu. This is now our number one tissue tightening device. And it's actually just right behind neurotoxins, fillers, cool sculpting, things like that, as far as the best revenue generator we have in our clinic. So we're, uh, we're ecstatic about it. It's been a great addition. My name is Lee, and I'm one of the medical estheticians here at Aesthetic Care. And I do perform one of our non-invasive, no downtime treatments called Indiba. It uses low levels of radio frequency to really stimulate collagen and elastin, so that plumpness or that structure in the skin. It's really wonderful for that thinner, delicate, kind of crepier skin. What I like about Indiba is you can actually do it from head to toe. So the good thing with it, there's no downtime, so there's nothing I have to put you under, no bruising, no any of that. Um, so you can literally go about your day like normal with it. We've seen some really nice success, like I said, from head to toe with treatments. Patients are really excited about it. Um, common areas, we do it like the abdomen, even underarm, um, inner outer thigh, I and mean, you can literally do it all over, which is really nice. I think it pairs really good too with combinations. What I really like about it is because, like I said, it's non invasive, no downtime with it. We can really start to see the overall health of the skin look better. So, skin integrity, you're going to start to see firmness, smoothness. Right now, for sure, with summer coming up, I would say abdomen area, like front and back thighs are really big, even arms. 
Um, in the winter time, I'd say people tend to focus more like on their face or neck or chest area too. But for right now, definitely kind of your your legs front and back as well. That crepiness or that laxity really start to even out and plump out. So patients have been really happy with the results because we want that smooth, soft baby skin feeling, and a diva can really help us with that. Recently, I've actually had a handful of clients that we have been treating actually getting ready for like swimsuit area, especially like above the knee. It's been a really nice area to do backs of the thighs. Um, one client in particular who's had some amazing results is around the eye area. I like this treatment because we can go super close to that orbital rim without going on the eye globe itself. For a lot of treatments, we just can't do that. And Indiva is wonderful for just brightening, for really helping softening that. And she was super excited. It was kind of one of the first modalities that we introduced to her um, that you don't have to worry about any downtime with it. My name is Laura. I'm an esthetician here at Aesthetic Hair. I've been using Indiva for about six months now. Um, I really like the ease of use. It's lightweight and so some of the lasers that we use can be really heavy and this one is like extremely light so I love that about it. Um, and I love the results that we've been getting and the fact that it's a very comfortable treatment for the patient. The Indiva device has two different wavelengths that we work with. We have the um, res and cap. So a lot of times we're doing the res resistive on the body with these um, applicator tips. Depending on the size of the area is what I would use. Um, you know, this one is great for um, smaller areas, arms. This one, great for abdomen. If we're working on the thighs, we're typically doing um, one of these bigger guys here. Um, and then there's some other applicants or applicators that you can use with that. Um, this is a great one for like neck and face. Um, this one is the capacitive, and so it goes into this little guy like so. Um, this, it's got a wonderful little guy. This is wonderful for the forehead and eyes um, and around the lips. This one works great for that. Some of my favorite results have been like patients that were post cool sculpting that maybe had some irregular um, fat pockets left and it helps smooth that out, so that's been really great. Um, I've had some older patients that have those really interesting places that bother them, like the arms, the crepiness on the arms, we get that a lot in the knees, which I feel like this is a good and comfortable treatment for them in this you know, device, I feel like works really well for that. I definitely think Indiva complements a lot of different body treatments that we offer um, from some of our fat reducing devices and then our muscle sculpting devices. I, I really, we've paired it with some of those and done it in the same treatment and it's, it's fabulous. We're a firm believer that combination therapies are always the best. And I always use the analogy of exercise in the gym, okay? you would never go to the gym and just do curls. That's the only thing you're gonna do because you'd wor be working your biceps but you'd be ignoring the rest of your body. Um, I always ask in a consult, you know, what is the single best way to get an amazing shape? And it's a trick question, there's not a single best way. It's a combination of things. Strength, cardio, eating well, sleeping well, all those things work better. Um, what is the best way to good skin, good aesthetic stuff? It's a combination of things. So for example, when we talk about lasers, you can do light treatments and lasers on the face, but if you don't do neurotoxins or fillers, you're not addressing the underlying issues. So those combinations are much better. So with Indiva, Indiva actually works great in combination with a, a variety of different devices. Cool sculpting, because you know, cool sculpting obviously attacks fat, but does little or nothing for, for skin laxity. And so when we cool sculpt an abdomen, a lot of that um, is combined with laxity, especially women who have had children. And so that combination is good. Microneedling with radio frequency combined with Indiva, we have some amazing results on thighs, glutes, abdomens, things like that. That's a great combination. Um, we're now starting to do some combinations with the M-Sculpt Neo, because again, that's focusing on the muscle and some fat, and then addressing laxity with the uh, Indiva. So it's, it really pairs easily. And you know, it's really nice when you have a treatment that there is no downtime. Obviously, there's no downtime with Indiva. Um, it's very tolerable. I mean, you feel some warmth, but nobody says, okay, this is too painful. I can't handle it. Okay, it's usually actually a fairly comfortable treatment. And, um, you know, the results have been very predictable, but we can always enhance results by combining it with other therapies. Even such a little thing as really good skincare products. 
you know, good body products, good face products, combining that with other modalities works well too. Something we think about in any business is the seasonality of it, okay? So one thing that we know, and it will always be this way, is that the lasers are gonna slow down in the summer because people are out in the sun, they're going to the lake, they have vacations, and a lot of laser treatments just aren't safe or as effective if we, you have to turn down the energy on tan for sure on sunburned skin. I have noticed over the last 20 years, people are getting better at protecting at least their face, but still your your light sources like IPL and BBL, your fractional lasers, your resurfacing laser, it's always gonna die in the summer. So it's really nice to have treatments that sun exposure does not matter. And so things like cool sculpting, Indiba, you know, those type of treatments, we can do all summer because if you come in with a tan, that's okay. You know, obviously we would never treat a sunburn, um, but you know, it's interesting, um, a good friend of mine who's a plastic surgeon who just added Indiba was talking to me and when he was making that decision whether to add it or not, he said, you know, I think I really don't have a choice because in this trial period, my staff has been using it on their joints, arthritis and carpal tunnel, and they've gotten amazing relief in that because originally it's designed for physical therapy. So uh, even though that's not something that we are probably gonna offer on our menu, but my staff loves that aspect of it, which is really fun. But yeah, I think it's important that you have a menu that allows you to have optional treatments during every season. And Indiva is something we can do all summer. When it comes to marketing in, in our industry, I think most people gravitate towards the traditional marketing venues. You know, they run ads in magazines, they do radio, maybe TV commercials, billboards, things like that. And I'm not saying those don't work, but I will tell you there's a much better way. One is your website needs to be optimized well, organically, to with where in your geographic area, whoever is doing your organic optimization should be able to tell you what are people searching for. And then you need to rank high there because that's gonna increase your call volume. But even more importantly is the consultation. So when too often in our industry, a consultation is simply done based on the reason they came in. So somebody comes in for rosacea, you talk about rosacea, and you hope you treat the rosacea. The problem is, is that person doesn't figure out or doesn't learn who you are as a business. So our consultation, we use a nine-step structure. The second step of that is we go through every skin condition, every condition that we're able to treat. Not trying to sell it to them, just to let them know, here's who we are as a business, okay? Because... You know, if you came in for a consult and you have rosacea, your brother may have acne scars. I want you to know we treat acne scars. Your mom might not like the, the looseness, the little turkey neck, okay? I want you to know that that's something we do. And you can do that in a way where they never will feel like you're selling them anything. So to me, the consultation is the single best opportunity we have to market ourselves. So for example, with something like Indiba, if somebody comes in and they're worried about maybe a little texture in their eyes and some sun damage, when we're analyzing, we're gonna let them know, hey, if any laxity in your skin bothers you, we have some very good treatments for that. So it's making people aware of that. And probably the single biggest indicator of success in our industry is simply the quality of the staff. Almost of the 1,600 clinics that I've worked with, 80% are undertrained. You know, they buy a device, they have a few hours of training, and that's all they ever get. And so the best money that I ever spend in my clinic is advanced technique training for my staff. And they're already really well trained. So I, I find out who in North America is good at things. I fly them to, to teach us. I fly my staff to different clinics to learn. We are always looking for opportunities to learn new protocols, investigate new technologies, and just improve what we currently are doing. And we make sure that when we do that, um, that we're always putting that on Facebook, on Instagram, on our, our uh, website so people can see how active we are in improving ourselves. And it makes a huge difference. Okay, so Indiba happens to be an extremely easy treatment to do. But I promise you, people develop protocols, fiddling around with things, and, and we want to learn those. So I think communication with your peers, going to meetings like the ASLMS, the AAD, the ASAPs, um, the aesthetic show in Vegas, talking to people who have devices. Hey, what are you doing? How are you marketing it? How are you packaging it? What different ideas do you have for protocols? We're always doing that. And the reason, the only reason my clinic is so much, and I'm not saying this to brag, it's just true, so much bigger than anybody in my geographic territory is simply I have a better trained staff and I will never let any of my competitors have a staff that's better trained than me. 
We work with a lot of new clinics that are having to invest a lot of money in a bunch of different devices to get open. And then a lot of existing clinics wondering, okay, we're doing well, but we need to always stay on top of technology. I think you want to be very careful before you buy a device. Uh, I think you want to do your due diligence, vet it out really well, um, talk to people who have the device, see how they've done with it, make sure when you buy that device that you have access to good training, um, and be careful about adding technology that's only a little bit better than what you have. So we do quite a bit laser hair removal. If I buy a laser hair removal system that's 10% better than what I have, I'm not saying that's bad, but is that going to add a lot of revenue to my clinic? It's not. Um, maybe it does a little better and, and sometimes if it's dramatically better you would do that but what I love looking for is something that's going to open up a new revenue stream so you're a clinic that does neurotoxins and fillers and some laser but you don't have a good tissue tightening device that'd be a great time to buy in Diva you know you have a clinic that does really well with tissue tightening and some lasers but you're not doing much in injectables well maybe you need to invest in training there and get really good at that because I want to make sure that my menu is broad enough that I can meet everyone's different financial situation. We don't want to have just crazy expensive treatments. We want treatments that fit everyone's budget, but also can address the things that most people are worried about. And this is the first time in the history of the United States that half our population is over the age of 50. So the baby boomers, which I'm one of. Well, what happens when you get old? You start sagging. Gravity's fighting you every day. Eventually gravity will start to win that fight. And so if you can help tighten tissue in the neck, the lower face, underneath the eyes, the thighs, the glutes, the abdomen, there's a huge demand for that. Um, and that's one of the main reasons I think Indiva has done so well for us. Okay.